Okay, so this is a new what's in my bag video. Um, I totally changed almost everything out um, because stuff wasn't working for me. And bad things were happening. So I guess we'll start with my putter just to get just to get the old clips out of the way. I still have and will probably not change. Actually, I guaranteed I won't change the Scotty Cameron Cherry Bomb with a Super Stroke Slim, Ultra Slim. I love that putter. Softest softest putter I've ever felt. Um, then I have CG15 wedges. Non-conforming grooves. Dirty as shit. But, um, CG15s, because I'm not a professional player, so. Kept with the 15s, and I have a 60 degree 60 degree and a 56 degree sand wedge <coughs> also CG15 and also dirty pretty sweet then brand new irons which I freaking love I adore them I'll pull them all out before I even tell you what they are keep the suspense drawn for a minute might be able to guess. No, you can't guess actually, but I went pitching or excuse me, gap wedge through four iron. Cause if any of you see my videos, you all know that I am a terrible woods player. So I just dropped a club. As you all know, I'm a terrible woods player. So, I do not use woods, I use irons and wedges. And I also, I did go ahead and replace the woods too. Um, so yeah, I really, I replaced everything in my bag. Um, I did a small update like a week ago, and I had red and white lampkins. And I love those grips, so I kept those grips. But... Dun 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 dun. Taylor made CB irons. CB. And these are for your scratch to probably nine handicap area. Um, they have the MCs and then they have the Tur preferred um, blades, which are for your scratch golfers, which I'm not quite there. But, anyways, this club looks really sweet on the ground. Looks like a blade. Um, <laughs> it's funny the white, the white really makes TaylorMade's ego go hard. So, anyways, I love those irons. I did go gap through uh, four iron, and here's the big boy, sweet ass R11. Oh man, a sweet club, beautiful club. Um, white and black, complete egotistical tailor made. Also, has got the red and white lambkins, and I spent the extra hundred dollars and put the TP staff on. Um, sixty-five gram, sixty-five gram stiff flex. Where's the stiff at? St stiff flex shaft, and uh, I have it at a ten-five. But um, my swing coach went ahead and put it to an 11, set it to an 11. Um, just because I'm a high loft player. And I'm not a great driver. But yeah, I did spend an extra $100, I think, on the TP staff. It was just like 5 grams lighter and apparently just a, just a bit better than the stock Taylor made shaft. And then I went with a 3 wood, also R11. And... <laughs> You can't deny that that white, the white looks great. Um, even if you can go ahead and complain about Taylor Mitt's ego, but I I really like it. I think it looks pretty sick. I also did the TP 70 gram stiff flex three wood. I have it set up more like a four wood right now in terms of loft degrees of loft because as all of you know, with the new Taylor Mitt, you can change pretty much everything. Um, and then. Sorry about that, I just flew the camera. 
I went ahead and got the TaylorMade 3 Hybrid, which is, or I guess it's a, it is an, it's an 18 degree hybrid, which you can call a 3. Um, I have it set up more like a 3 iron though, for distance purposes. But, so those are my new clubs. Sick as hell. All tailor made. I don't know why, except for the wedges and the putter. But something got into me. And I was like, oh, tailor made. Cool. So, got Sun Mountain bag. It's actually, this bag's sweet as hell. It's really nice. Light. And got my school's towel. Brand new. I think I've used it once. I got my tees and ball markers in there. Just extra marker. Um, then I do, I play Callaway IS now. Tur IS. Um, Tur IS. With a red line for putting purposes. And I also do play a Pro V1. But for tournaments and stuff, I usually play Callaway. Just because I like the spin I get with it more. Some people don't, some people do. It's personal preference, obviously. Then I have, I think, a red Sharpie. Yeah, red Sharpie here for marking. A couple of, a little bit of money in there for emergencies. Then down in here, I have my red, um, wrench for the irons. And a little water bottle with soap for cleaning clubs on the course. And somewhere down there I have a scrub. Right there, a scrub. Okay, so in this smaller pocket, I have extra glove, and I guess some extra money. A sleeve of balls down there. Pro V1s actually. I'll let you guys stare at that R11 while I grab all the crap out. And then over here, I just have trash, I guess, which is nothing big. So usually I have more stuff in my bag, but I just switched it out for my school bag since state's over and all that stuff. So, anyways, yep, that's what's new in my bag. Tell me what you think. Um, I know I was talking about getting Mizunos and crap, but, man, those, those are the softest feeling irons. They're the full forged uh, CB. Instead of, they do have the forged and then the cast body, but this is the fully forged head. Um, that's the other difference is these are the fully forged CBs. There is the... Um, CBs that are not fully forged, they just have the forged face. But this is a fully forged club. And uh, that was something that my swing coach was emphasizing pretty big. So, And uh, got these Lambkin grips, like I said before. I think these are really soft, so um, I really like them. And uh, yeah, and there's my shoes. Mother. $300 leather shoes. No, I'm just kidding. 210 but still. Uh, and that's it. And um, these are haven't even been swung yet. Just got home from the store. And god dang, the R11 looks so damn sexy. That is just such a sexy driver right there. Just, you know. Whew. Boom. Anyways, that's all. Thanks. Rate, comment, and subscribe.